Hi everyone, Lisa here with a quick tutorial on how to do time tracking inside of ClickUp. Also, I am actually not a fan of the ClickUp reporting tools for your time, so I have a better app for you that I will show you at the end as well. But if you're using ClickUp, no matter what plan you have, even the free plan, it will work. There is a report where it rolls things up and you do need the paid version of ClickUp, like at least the first level, but we're not gonna worry about that today. Um, we're just gonna show you how to do this. So inside of ClickUp, over here at the bottom left, you are gonna go to your workspace. So I just have one workspace because I'm a solopreneur. I don't need to split things up for privacy or anything else or make it any very fancy. So inside of here, I am just going to go to settings and then I'm gonna to go to click apps. So over here on the left, you should see it right at the top. And then there's a ton of different things that it can do. I know you're probably like, wow, let me explore all of these. Um, but if it's all in alphabetical order. So if you go down to the bottom, you can see I already have it selected. You can toggle it on or off. I don't want to disable it, so I'm going to click cancel. But over here, there's a drop down for all the spaces that are inside your ClickUp workspace. And so you want to make sure that you click all of them or whichever ones that you want to do time tracking for. Um, and you're pretty much all set. Now, it, there's a second way, if you don't like that method, that you can also turn on time tracking, and that is within each space. So let's say within writing, I only want to do time tracking inside of there, so I'll hit those three little dots next to that space where it says space settings. I'll hit more, and then I'll go to click apps, just like I did before, and I'll make sure, so you can see it was already turned on from before, so you can toggle it on or off from here, uh, and you can just turn it on. That's all you have to do. It's a feature inside of ClickUp, but as a default, it is not turned on per se, so you wanna turn it on, and that's only because I think it's trying to help you keep your dashboard clean and not have too many things on inside of there. So the next thing is, how do I actually track time inside of here? So let's go into, so inside of writing, I have a list here called Car Thief, right? It's the name of a book that I'm writing. So for uh, chapter one, you can see here, I was playing around with it and I tracked 10 minutes and 51 seconds for how much time I worked on this. Same thing for chapter two, I tracked four hours for that. So let's do uh, two things. One, let's just try to add time to a current uh, task. So if I go into chapter one, I can go ahead and I can say start timer and it will start tracking the time. So you can see it says one second, two, three, four, five. I don't have to do the time for you. That's all you have to do. You can leave this open and then you can go to another screen and just start doing stuff. So this is actually my screen from the best week ever challenge. And this is how I've been doing time tracking in a spreadsheet. It's easy. It's simple. The only problem is when I wanted to track the time to add it up, I did have to do it manually over here and color code stuff. So that was a bit of a pain. Um, so that's why I was like, I'm sure there is an automated feature that can do that. And so when we come back here, now we can see I've been blabbing for like 30 seconds. So we can go ahead and hit stop timer. And so now it's added those 30 seconds onto the time that it already had before. So we can go ahead and close this window. Now, what if you want to add some time manually. So let's say uh, chapter three, I was writing and I totally forgot to start the timer. If I go inside of here, I can just hit this little drop down arrow here and I can go to manual and I can actually enter the time. So I could say I spent two hours, uh, 15 minutes and voila, it says 215. Another thing I can do as well is I could do a range. So I could say, actually, I don't want to do the math. It's too hard. So I'm going to say I worked on this from 1040 uh, AM to 140. Uh, let's make it hard. 157 PM. How about that? And then I can go ahead and say save. And now it's going to keep adding all of that time and all of that time as I keep going. So your next question is probably, well, where can I see all of this history, right? So, oh, before I leave that, another way to track your time is if you want to download the time tracking uh, Chrome extension, you can do that. Just search through ClickUp and inside of there, it'll say download the Chrome extension, or you can go within the Chrome extensions and download it. But it looks like click up right over here. So you can just hit this over here. Um, and so you can see settings, notepad, you can do a ton of things inside of here, but all you have to do is choose a ta task. So make sure track time is the little icon you have selected. And so we're back to car thief. So let's do chapter two and 
it just automatically starts that timer for you and it's running in the background so you don't have to worry about it again i can come over here i can look at my february timesheet. i can do whatever it is i need to do and then i can see up here in the corner it says zero minutes because it's doing seconds. It doesn't report minutes. Uh, but as time goes on, I'll see that update to one minute, two minutes, three, etc. as I go on. Now, if I'm once I'm done, I can just go up here and it'll bring that little pop up extension again and I can hit stop and I am done. So those are two ways to, or many ways, you can track it inside of here using the actual timer. You can do it manually if you want to enter a just total time, or you can do a range with a from and to start time. So all of those work as well as the Chrome extension to start the timer over here as well. So. Hopefully that gave you an idea of how to track time. So now you're probably wondering, where do I see any of these reports? So when you go into um, your list view, there are three ways you can view your time reports inside of ClickUp. The first is to go down here to dashboards. Now you may have never used this. I know I have never done this. I just created one uh, just to show you. But inside of here, I created a dashboard for Car Thief. So let's just create a new dashboard again together. Uh, so we will just call this new test dashboard. All right, so in start of here, we're just gonna say start from scratch and you're gonna see the option to do time tracking right over here. So we're gonna go ahead and say time reporting. We're gonna go ahead and add that widget. And then once you add that widget, you're going to be able to see your time. Now, this is, and like all other time tracking software, it's really meant for reporting because you have a team, you have clients, you have billing, but we don't really care what Lisa has done because I'm the only employee. So you can see all those different time entries with that a lot of detail because there's no notes. So I actually don't really, this is also another reason I didn't really like the reporting feature inside of ClickUp, but you can change this if I go over here to filter and I believe I can just go to uh, time tracked um, and I can, oh wait, sorry. I can go over to Lisa and I can change this instead from a person to the tasks, I believe. So here we go, um, users. So instead I'm just gonna do it by list and by task and I'm gonna save that. There we go. So now we can see for the car thief, which is in this list, its total time tracking is nine hours, 44 minutes and six seconds. Now, another way you can do that is if you go back over here to spaces, and we're gonna go back into writing because that's the only place I did any time tracking. And inside of here, I should be able to see in the list view all of my times, whoops. Um, so without having to open it. So if I go into Car Thief, and now I'm in my list view for chapters one, two, and three, you can see it's 11 minutes on this chapter, four hours on this one, five hours and 32 minutes on this one. If you don't see that, all you have to do is go over here and add a column and I don't see time tracking because I already added it, but anywhere else, so like let's go into tea cozies. Oh, I don't think I have any other lists. Clearly I haven't done anything else. So let's just do a fake chapter over here. And so I don't see it. So what I can do is I can add a column. I'll go down here and I'll see time tracked. And now you can see that it has time tracked, but it shows zero. A different way you can do it too is on calendar. So on calendar, if I switch to a week view, let's go back to the car thief one and go to calendar. And then inside of here, okay, so nothing is in here. The reason it's not in here is the only way, there's another rule for calendars. You have to have, everything has to have a start date or a deadline date. So what we can do is we can go back to our list view. We can take chapter one and we can go up here to date created doesn't really matter. We're gonna to go to due date and we're gonna start this, let's say on the 7th, two days ago. And we'll say it's due tomorrow on the 10th. We'll close that, it's saved. Now when I go into calendar view, now I can see chapter one over here and it still isn't showing our time. So that is a little annoying. <laughs> so let's, I think if I do it, I think you have to jerry rig this. So if I go over here to chapter two and we do the time and we just enter a start date and that's it, let's just enter today. And then we go back over to calendar, then we should be able to see chapter two in theory here in the calendar view, but I guess we don't. 
Uh, do I have time tracked? Oh, there it is. Time tracked. It's my fault. My bad. All right. So now that we have time tracked, we should in theory be able to see it. I still don't see it. I honestly don't know what I'm doing wrong. All right. I just had to refresh. So now we can see chapter one took 12 minutes, chapter two took four hours and one minute. So if we, same thing, if we add chapter three, if we add a uh, start date to this one as well, let's just say the seventh, close that out, then we should be able to see that there, five minutes and 32, five hours and 32 minutes. So um, is this useful? I think not. A better solution, something that I've tried, I tried instead was Toggle. Toggle wasn't bad, but honestly, and it could syncs with um, ClickUp, so that's something you could do too. However, same thing, it didn't have any like robust reporting that I really wanted to see because I was really doing this to see where my time was going and to make some like smart decisions about if am I spending too much time on one activity, not enough, like where is the quality of my time going? And so I found a tracker. I really like this. It's not expensive. Um, I think it's, I purchased the a tracker. So it's a little confusing. It looks like there's three different options and there kind of are. The first two are like either or the free option to really didn't have a lot of stuff in it. And it had these annoying ads in it. So I just went ahead and did the $4.99 and it's just a one-time cost. So it's not a monthly fee. It's a one-time cost and it works just for your, your phone. But I went ahead and, it, well, sorry, it works on your app, your phone, your Apple Watch, and it also works on the iPad. They have a special iPad version. It looks really nice. So I also upgraded to premium because I really wanted to use it on my desktop. So um, I did both. So I paid the $4.99 plus I paid the $2.99 per month just to test this out. Uh, so over here, you can see a tracker. And so a tracker, I really like it. I'll do a separate tutorial on this. But when I went to look at A-Tracker and see where my time went for the month, and today is only February 9th, so I don't have a full month of data. I'll wait until the end of the month so you can see more data inside of there. But I can see that I spent 10 hours on YouTube so far, 10 hours on the Self-Confidence Planner, nine and a half hours on the anti-procrastination, and then a little bit of time on some other projects here. If I hit this, you can see I spent an hour writing a newsletter another hour on inner circle, which is a writing thing. So uh, I can do it for the week. I can do it for seven days. I like that it's color coded. I like that it's a bar chart. Uh, I believe there are other, this is a, that, that's a pie chart, not a bar chart. <laughs> this is a bar chart. Um, and so for the bar chart over here, you can see other things. Uh, I think it just goes by, oh, you can select it. So I could select this, the newsletter, inner circle. What else did I work on? self progress Here's another really nice thing too, is it has icons that you can choose from. And it had the butterfly, which is the icon that I've been using for uh, the Goal Getters Club. And this was really nice for design. It had the InDesign logo. Who has the InDesign logo? So I was really excited about that. Anyways, so you can say, okay. And now for the bar chart, I can see everything across there. And I guess this is for, let's try to do the week. And it does, yeah. So, oh, I see it does weekly. Let's do daily. That's an easier thing to look at. Um, but you can see it tells me how much time I spent each day working. So I love a tracker. It is a thousand times better than ClickUp, than Toggle or any of the other ones. Cause when you look at all those videos that are comparing stuff, it's really just for someone who has a team and you wanna see how much time, you know, um, Jane is working versus Susan versus Carrie versus Jennifer. And you can see who your most productive people are, who is, you know, just taking too long to work on tasks or something else and make sure that all of your billing is correct when they send you a bill for how much time they've been working in your business or if you have clients. So, you know, those tools are great for that purpose, but if you're like me and you're just trying to be more efficient with your own time, I think a tracker is a thousand times better. So that was a tutorial. I showed you how to use the time tracking inside ClickUp. And then I showed you a tracker, which I think is a thousand times better. And I will be back at the end of the month, possibly in March with a full tutorial on how to use a tracker once I've like actually used it and figured it out. All right. I hope everyone's having a great day. And remember, there's a full tutorial on ClickUp for solopreneurs because I do believe it's very different than like who wants to learn about all those team features and coordinating and all that silly stuff. So make sure to check that out. I will leave a link to that below. And I hope everyone's having a great day, which I think I said already, but I double wish it. And I'll talk to you later.